Starting off today's video, Monday morning, pretty early. Got JP Logistics here picking up my test to send her to O'Gara to get some uh, service things done to it. Probably the coolest tow truck service we have here in Los Angeles. As you guys can see, this back part comes down like this. Makes it enclosed, and then this part goes up. So it's pretty much just a flatbed with a box on top of it. That's it. There she goes. Now getting ready to jump in the SVR to head to Peterson Automotive Museum. They have a pretty special group of cars there at the moment, so they invited us to check it out. Pretty exciting. Finally made it to Beverly Hills stuck in traffic because they're doing some utility work up there. I'll be able to see. Just a few minutes away from Peterson Museum. Here we are. Here's the Peterson Automotive Museum. The outside looks so cool. Check out the view from the parking lot up here. See downtown Los Angeles. Hollywood Hills. Pretty cool. At the entrance, we have these two pretty cool classic cars. First one is the uh, 1939 Chevrolet Master Deluxe Gangster Swad. Has a pretty cool blue paint, bunch of sparkles in it. And this was the 1964 Chevrolet Impala Gypsy Rose. Uh, you can see the interior here. Here we got the DeLorean from Back to the Future. This is so cool. What? This has to be my favorite thing from the Batman movies. So cool. On the other side of the motorcycle, we have the uh, original Batmobile here. Actual one used in the movies. It's pretty cool, but I'm still gonna have to take the motorcycle right there. Here's one of the original Fords. You can see the pedals down here. So cool. Now we made it to the cool cars. Full carbon MSO HS. Wow, this looks good. You can see the gold heat shield right there. I was lucky enough to ride in the uh, first MSO HS back when it first came out. 
Now seeing this one, a full carbon, I think this one looks better. What for the uh, black and red color scheme here. See the red calipers, red seat belts, red stitching. And then behind the carbon HS, we have the full carbon McLaren P1. I believe this is one of the first full carbon P1s to roll out of the factory. This one also being full carbon with red accents. Wow. This was actually in one of my first videos, uh, the Father's Day car show back in uh, 2016, I believe. P1s just look so good in race mode. So low to the floor. You got this massive wing in the back. This one also, you can kind of see the gold heat shield there. So they're almost identical specs. Here we got a few Jaguars. I have no idea what this one is. Or this one. But I do know this is the uh, XJ220. Such a cool car. Nowadays they're so rare also. This dark blue paint looks amazing. I see the interior there. This corner is epic. Got the 1967 Ford GT40 Mark III. The brand new uh, 2017 Ford GT. Now in the Ferrari room, we got the Ferrari 288 GTO. The first of the five Ferrari supercars. You can see the matching European plate there and you can kind of see the bottom of the gearbox, which is kind of cool. We have Nicky Lauda's old F1 car. I believe this is the Ferrari 330 LMB. So cool. Yeah, this is a 330 LMB from 1963. Only four of them ever built. A few other Ferraris here. Got this one finished in an amazing red. 1947 Ferrari 125S. Got the uh, 1958 Ferrari 250 TR Spider. Interior. Kind of read about it right there. 19 of these made. Got a few more of them in this corner here. This one also finished in a darker red tan interior, classic Ferrari spec. Ferrari 250 LM. Now this is cool. You can still see when it was used on the track, it still has all the original rock chips. Wow. It's amazing to see this car actually in its original condition. A lot of Ferraris nowadays have been restored so many times. Some of them you can't even tell if they're real. Here's the best part of the whole museum. The Bugatti section. You guys might know what this car is. Type 57 Atlantique. This car is worth over 40 million. The previous car sold for 42, I believe. Wow. I think there's four of these cars ever made. This one being in baby blue. There is a black one owned by Ralph Lauren. And I don't know about the other two. Seeing this car in person though is just 
crazy. You guys can see right here, the plaque. Four, ever made. 1936 Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic. Got the 1939 Type 57C. That used to be owned by the King of Iran. You can see the Iranian plates are still on it actually. Veyron's predecessor here, the EB110 Super Sport. You can see the interior there. This also had a uh, quad turbo engine. I'm not exactly sure how many cylinders it had. I still think this car is the best car in this museum. Wow. For a car from 1936, this car is extremely clean. Looks almost like it's brand new. You can see that Bugatti always kept this uh, front horseshoe grill right here. They have it on the Veyron, the Chiron, and all the previous cars. You can see, this one has it. This one also has it. Crazy. That's it for the museum. Big thanks to the guys from uh, the Peterson Museum for inviting us over to check out the collection. Pretty cool cars. Now, on to the food vlog. The food vlog is real. Came to Peaks Hot Dogs. If you guys come here on the weekends, the line is literally around the building. Probably one of the best hot dog slash hamburger places we have here in uh, Los Angeles. Sorry James, but my food vlogs are better than yours. You gotta step it up. You can see all the celebrities that have been here before. We've got Jay Leno. Bunch of other celebrities. The walls are filled with celebrities. Oh man, check this out. My favorite hot dog American cheese, grilled onions, French fries, Santa. Got a Polish dog, chili cheese fries. The best. Back home with the RS1. Fortunately, White Tess is missing, but she'll be back home in a few days. Pretty fun day. Once again, thanks to the guys over at Peterson Museum for inviting us over. Had a pretty amazing group of cars there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, if I sounded a little bit different, I'm extremely sick, so I'll try to continue making these videos, but it's going to be tough. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.